ball game. Here's Havlicek. Rebound coming off, and Chamberlain gets it. 5.55 to go. And Chamberlain hurt his leg on the play. Baylor. Russell with the rebound. 103 to 94. Chamberlain can't move, Chris. He's down there holding that knee. He really twisted that knee on that last rebound. But he did get the rebound and quickly calls for a timeout. 20 seconds official timeout. Frank O'Neill, the Los Angeles Laker trainer, checking it. What he's doing there, Chris, is putting that Freon on the knee. It freezes the uh, spot that was twisted, not allowing it to swell. But Will Chamberlain really twisted that knee on that rebound. And this also could be a big factor in the closing minutes of this game. With him not mobile, he has five fouls, and he may not be able to move around quite as well. There you see Bill Russell at the other end of the floor, taking advantage of the timeout to rest up a little bit for the closing moments. Russell also with five fouls. Chamberlain with 18 points, 22 rebounds, still hobbling, moving in toward Russell as the play is started by Jerry West. West guarded by Siegfried. 103 to 94, 524 left in the game. There you see M. Bryant coming over, everybody knowing that West is gonna get that ball. And West is fouled. Siegfried's third foul of the game. And now Mel Counts comes off the Laker bench. Tom Hawkins comes out. And now Will Chamberlain comes over to the bench. Mel Counts is going to come in for Will Chamberlain. So the Laker lineup as Will Chamberlain rests that right knee. You know, Chris, with Egan coming into the...